The Karyan alphabets are a number of regional scripts used to write the Karyan language of western Anatolia. They consisted of some 30 alphabetic letters, with several geographic variants in Karya and a homogeneous variant attested from the Nile Delta, where Karyan mercenaries fought for the Egyptian pharaohs. They were written left to right in Karya apart from the Karyan Lydian city of Trales and right to left in Egypt. Karyan was deciphered primarily through Egyptian Karyan bilingual tomb inscriptions, starting with John Ray in 1981. Previously, only a few sound values and the alphabetic nature of the script had been demonstrated. The readings of Ray and subsequent scholars were largely confirmed with a Karyan Greek bilingual inscription discovered in Kaunos in 1996, which for the first time verified personal names, but the identification of many letters remains provisional and debated, and a few are wholly unknown. Scripts There is a range of graphic variation between cities in Karya, some of which extreme enough to have separate Unicode characters. The Kaunos alphabet is thought to be complete. There may be other letters in Egyptian cities outside Memphis, but they need to be confirmed. The letters with identified values in the various cities are as follows. Origin Topic. The Karyan scripts, which have a common origin, have long puzzled scholars. Most of the letters resemble letters of the Greek alphabet, but their sound values are generally unrelated to the values of the Greek letters. This is unusual among the alphabets of Asia Minor, which generally approximate the Greek alphabet fairly well, both in sound and shape, apart from sounds which had no equivalent in Greek. However, the Karyan sound values are not completely disconnected. A, Greek alpha, O, Greek omicron, S, Greek S san, and U, Greek upsilon are as close to Greek as any Anatolian alphabet, and which resembles Greek beta, has the similar sound, P, which it shares with Greek derived Lydian. Adiego 2007 therefore suggests that the original Karyan script was adopted from cursive Greek, and that it was later restructured, perhaps for monumental inscription, by imitating the form of the most graphically similar Greek print letters without considering their phonetic values. Thus a, t, which in its cursive form may have had a curved top, was modeled after Greek kopa, rather than its ancestral tau, tau to become Karyan per meter, from archaic Greek would have been simplified and was therefore closer in shape to Greek nu than mu when it was remodeled as Indeed, many of the regional variants of Karyon letters parallel Greek variants are common graphic variants of digamma, of theta, lambda of both gamma and lambda, of rho, of phi, of chi, v of upsilon, and parallel eta, eta. This could also explain why one of the rarest letters has the form of one of the most common Greek letters. However, no such proto-Karyan cursive script is attested, so these etymologies are speculative. Further developments occurred within each script. In Kaunos, for example, it would seem that S and T both came to resemble a Latin P, and so were distinguished with an extra line in one, T, S. <laughs> Decipherment Numerous attempts at deciphering the Karyan inscriptions were made during the 20th century. After World War II, most of the known Karyan inscriptions were collected and published, which provided good basis for decipherment. In the 1960s the Russian researcher Vitaly Shevoroshkin showed that earlier assumptions that the script was a syllabic or semisyllabic writing system was false. He devoted many years to his study, and used proper methodology. He made it clear that Karyan was indeed alphabetically written, but made few significant advances in the understanding of the language. He took the values of letters resembling those of the Greek alphabet for granted, which proved to be unfounded. Other researchers of Karyan were H. Stoltenberg, O. Masson, Yuri Otkupshakov, P. Marie G. and R. Gusmani, but their work was not widely accepted. Stoltenberg, like Shevoroshkin, and most others, generally attributed Greek values to Karyan symbols. In 1972, an Egyptologist K. Zazich investigated bilingual texts in Karyan and Egyptian, what became known as Egyptian approach. 
This was an important step in decipherment, that produced good results. This method was further developed by T. Kowalski in 1975, which was his only publication on the subject. The British Egyptologist John D. Ray apparently worked independently from Kowalski, nevertheless, he produced similar results. 1981, 1983. He used Karyon Egyptian bilingual inscriptions that had been neglected until then. His big breakthrough was the reading of the name Semeticus Egyptian pharaoh in Karyon. The radically different values that Ray assigned to the letters initially met with skepticism. Ignacy Xavier Adiego, along with Dither Schur, started to contribute to the project in the early 1990s. In his 1993 book Studia Carica, Adiego offered the decipherment values for letters that are now known as the Ray Schur Adiego system. This system now gained wider acceptance. The discovery of a new bilingual inscription in 1996 the Kaunos Karyon Greek bilingual inscription confirmed the essential validity of their decipherment. Topic Unicode Topic Karyon was added to the Unicode standard in April, 2008 with the release of version 5.1. It is encoded in Plane 1 supplementary multilingual plane. The Unicode block for Karyon is U plus 102AO U plus 102DF, or graphic variants, as are and possibly Topic see also topic Alphabets of Asia Minor topic References topic Adiego Lahara, I.J. The Karyon Language. With an appendix by Corey Connick. Leiden, Brill, 2007, ISBN 978-90-04-15281-6 H. Craig Melchert, Karyon, in Woodward ed. The Ancient Languages of Asia Minor, 2008. Davies, Anna Morpurgo, Decipherment in International Encyclopedia of Linguistics, William J. Frawley, ed., 2nd ed., Oxford, 2003, I, 421. Everson, Michael, the 12th of January 2006. Proposal to encode the Karyon script in the SMP of the UCS, contains many useful illustrations and tables. Schur, Dither, zur Bestimmung der Lautwerte des Karyschen Alphabets 1971-1991, Cadmos 31-127-156 Swiggers and Jenigas, in, P.T. Daniels and W. Bright eds, The World's Writing Systems New York, Oxford, 1996, pp. 285-286. Vidal M.C. European Alphabets, Ancient Classical, in Encyclopedia of Language and Linguistics, 2nd ed., 2006.